this is an example of the fan laws from module three, section one. The question says, the designer wants 7200 CFM out of a system and he designed it to work at two inches of water column. The tab technician took a traverse here and found there's only 6480 CFM, but he measured the static at 2.4. So the system seems to be a bit more restrictive than the designer had calculated. So the airflow is less. The static's higher in the system, so the airflow is less. The fans turn at 900 RPM. Calculate the new fan speed. Well, we know fan law number one. Number one is RPM2 is equal to RPM1 times CFM1 2 over CFM1. Okay, so the RPM is going to vary directly as the CFM. So we can substitute in here. The 1 is always what you've measured. The 2 is always what you're trying to achieve. So we can say RPM2 is equal to RPM1, 900, times we don't really need the brackets in this case, but I left them there for a purpose. Times 7200 divided by 6480, the CFM we want, the CFM we've measured. And that equals 1000. So if we increase the fan speed from 900 to 1000, we'll increase the CFM from 6480 to 7200. What will be the new static pressure? So law number 2 says that static pressure 2 is equal to static pressure 1. This is why we have the brackets. CFM2 divided by CFM1 squared. Okay. Law number two is squared. Law number one, this is to the one power, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So static pressure two is going to be equal to static pressure one, 2.4, which is what we measured. Forget about the 2, that's long gone, that's an underestimate, 2.4, times 7200 divided by 6400 squared, which is equal to 2.4 times 1 1.23. Five, and that's equal to 2.96 inches. 2.96 inches water column. So because the, the system is harder to get air through than the designer figured is two inches, in order to get the 7200 CFM through the system now, we have to change from 900 RPM up to 1000 RPM and when we do that we're going to increase our static to 2.96 inches of water column. Okay. So he was nearly 50% off of his selection. What's going to happen to horsepower? Right now we're using 12.3 horsepower. So fat law number three three is Horsepower 2 is equal to horsepower 1 times 7200 divided by 60, 
6480, that's an 8 there, 6480, cubed, cubed, because it's fad law number 3. So we can substitute horsepower 2 is equal to, or horsepower 1, 12.3 times 7200 divided by 6480 cubed, which is 12.3 times 1.37 equals 16.87 bhp. Don't get confused with horsepower and brake horsepower. It's kind of the same thing. We interchange them. Brake horsepower is kind of what you put into the fan, and horsepower is what comes out of the motor. But we're talking 16.87. So now we had to increase from 12.3 horsepower up to 16.87 horsepower to drive the 7200 CFM through the system at 2.96 inches of water column. So remember, fan law number one, RPM varies as CFM. Okay. Static pressure varies as CFM. We could have also written here static pressure one times RPM two over RPM one, and that becomes 2.2 or 2.4 squared over 1,000 divided by 900 squared. And that's going to be the same 2.96, except for maybe a little bit of rounding off. It'll be exactly the same, 2.96 inches. And this horsepower is the CFM, we could have also used the RPM. So we could have said horsepower 2 is equal to horsepower 1 times RPM 2 over RPM 1 cubed is equal to 12.3 times 1,000 over 900 cubed, and that's going to be equal to 16.87. Both are correct, but I always, if I started using the CFM ratio, I carry on with the CFM ratio because if I made a mistake in calculating this and then went on with the thousand, then everything from here on would be an error. If I keep doing this with the CFM, then I lessen my chance of, of making an error. Just my personal habit, but you could use either because here you can, of course, because RPM varies to CFM, but here you could use CFM or RPM, it doesn't matter. Here you can use CFM or RPM, it doesn't really matter. So that's, that's a quick explanation of the fan laws 1, 2, and 3. You see more about it, section 3.1 in module 3. I always draw a little picture, it helps. Okay, doke.